Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we are beginning the journey towards Master Mode by preparing for it. We have a lot of things we need to do, mainly for our Necron set here, as well as a couple of things for our Terminator that we just need to complete before we can fully indulge into Master Mode 7. I'm so excited to start grinding through Master Mode. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you guys are excited for any of that, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe channel if you guys are new around here so you don't miss out on the Cata 50 slash Master Mode grind. It's going to be very intense, a ton of hours, but I'm so pumped for it now that we have this Terminator. So without further ado, though, let's get right into this one. We have to make some upgrades to our setup. Super quickly, though, if you do find yourself checking out on the Hypixel store, don't forget to go and use my career code. That is ZACH. You can save 5% on checkout when buying Skyblock gems for an ongoing fire sale, booster cookies, or when picking up a rank for your account. Highly recommend it. Save yourself 5%. Code Zach, appreciate each and every one who does continue to use my code. You guys are seriously amazing. Without further ado, let's get right into this one. The name of the game today is getting ready for master mode. And to do so, I'm going to be wearing my Necron armor set a lot. Um, this is something I'll be rocking most of the time, I can imagine, while using my Terminator. And so getting it kind of dungeon or master mode ready is definitely something that's very needed for me. I'm going to be completely honest. That includes fumings, it includes the gemstone slots because they do scale with your catacombs level and in dungeons. So the strength that Jasper gives, for example, on a Necron chest plate or any of the Necron pieces scales dramatically throughout dungeons, giving a ton more damage. So basically gigamaxing the set is going to be crucial if we ever want to go for catacombs 50, a lot of the higher end uh, dungeon stuff. So it's going to be very needed and it's going to pay off a lot in the long run. Something I also have is a grow six and prot six book which I'm going to go ahead and actually add to my Necron chest plate. Currently only have growth five, prop, set, prop five on all these pieces. That's something we're also going to work on changing through my super pairs whenever I get books. So actually, let me go ahead and combine these books together really quickly instead, and then apply it on 112 levels. There we go. Grow six, prot six. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. So uh, you love to see that. But then we also need to kind of do that for our leggings and our boots. I just don't have the books right now. When I do, we can I'm also going to go ahead and grab out some fuming books. Been saving up fuming for a while, but honestly, I've been shredding through them as of recent. So let's go ahead, though. We're going to grab out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need three more books uh, to complete the boots is the piece I've decided I'm going to be leaving behind here a little bit. But let's go ahead and put fumings onto our chest plate really quickly. So one, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. Now that has fumings on there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our leggings. One, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. That is an extra, what, I mean, what is that? An extra 10 defense and 20 health. So once again, scales in dungeons, pretty sure, and should add up over time, especially as we get into the later master mode floors. Every little bit of extra health and defense is, I'm sure, going to add up as we get into them but the next goal is the gemstone slots the gemstone slots are quite pricey on necron armor it's honestly why i've kind of led off and while i was really only working on floor seven like i really haven't done any master mode on this profile i think i've done one m1 m2 m3 and m4 for completion sake just with a party I, i'm pretty sure that's like all the runs i have in those so really haven't done too much master mode and therefore i didn't really require the gemstone slots i mean necron armor is pretty much overkill on floor seven as is but with now that we get into master mode and m7 especially while we're looking towards that we need these gemstone slots so we need two flawless jasper as well as another flawless jasper sapphire ruby and amethyst for each piece to unlock the slots let alone putting jasper in the slots that uh work like to actually put gemstones on the piece so very expensive. I'm going to be honest, I have people looking for fairy growls for me as we speak. And in the meantime, I'm probably going to go ahead and mine some sapphire or some ruby or some amethyst and get those uh, collected because I only need three flawless of each of those. So that's not the end of the world, but there's a lot of Jasper I need here. So it's going to be a little bit of a grind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get set up though and try and find a lobby where we can start mining. Um, but yeah, we're going to do our best to kit out this set. So I was able to get my hands on a really good Fairy Grotto lobby. Unfortunately, not in the Magma Fields, but my Skate Pet is still really good being at level 100 Epic. So it, it, it does a pretty good job in replace of the Magma Fields. And yeah, I've just been sitting here mining Jasper for a while. Um, we've done the math and figured out I need 39 Flawless Jasper to put Perfects on all three pieces of my Necron set. And then we've also come to the realization that if I really want to get deep into dungeons, I'm going to need a good pair of Maxor boots. 
though that is more flawless jasper but i'm also gonna worry about the axor stuff later i feel like necron should be my top priority i feel so yeah that's just what i've been thinking about or realizing but yeah so far i had like zero jasper at the start of this maybe a, a very little but currently sitting at 3.1 million jasper so it's actually been going really well i mean that's enough for what six flawless out of the 39 so look at us go i do have enough for a perfect but obviously i need a ton of flawless jasper just to unlock the slots alone so i think the goal is going to be actually i think i should be able to up unlock the first three jasper slots on the set if i'm not mistaken so actually let's go ahead and finish playing cookie clicker basically with all these i wish there was a way to like quick craft this i mean I, I guess that's kind of what we're doing but i wish there was a faster way so let's go ahead and make six flawless jaspers one two three these don't stack do they they do not four five and six literally just enough for six okay the timing on this clip is genuinely beautiful then we're gonna go ahead and take out my three pieces of necron armor let me kill these butterflies as well a little bit of bestiary don't mind if okay don't mind if i do anyways uh let's go into the hex i always forget that you can do gemstone stuff from the hex so shout out to the reminder from arogx you reminded me let's go into gemstones though here's the jasper gemstone slot i need two flawless jasper and 250k coins to unlock it and then the other slot, also very expensive. We'll get to that soon. But unlocking the slots is definitely our first priority here. So let's go and do this. Two flaws, Jasper, 250k. Beautiful. That first slot's unlocked, as you can tell by the little light gray Jasper symbol. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our leggings really quickly. Boom. That's unlocked. Beautiful. And last but not least, our boots. Let's go and unlock that slot. Boom. There we go. Six flawless Jasper all down the drain just to unlock a gemstone slot. And you know what, for the time being, just to just to show that I have it unlocked and flex on people, let's go into our gemstones here. We're going to take out some rough, that's right, some, some rough jasper. Let's go like that, go back into the hex, and we're going to put a piece of rough jasper in these slots. Uh, okay, click to view. Let's go ahead and slap on a rough for four strength. Beautiful, and little white, white brackets there. I was just, take, oh my goodness, one coin to remove. I'm actually getting scammed here, but uh, <laughs> no, that's that's fine. I think it, I think it just looks funny too. Uh, yeah, there we go. One coin to remove. Don't know if I can afford that one, so might have to do some ruby mining to get those off. My goodness, but also it kind of looks clean with the white brackets on it. I don't know. I definitely like the way the the rough looks on it. But there we go. We got we got some jasper on our deck rod. Obviously, we're gonna go for better than rough, but yeah that's that's just funny there we go the three first slots are now unlocked so i've been mining jasper for the last couple hours it is by far the slowest gemstone to mine as most of you know literally the breaking speed as well as having to find these lobbies luckily uh buddy mine argx has actually been hooking me up so that's saving me a lot of time and my goal is to get three million jasper while in this lobby which i was able to do which is super nice we're gonna go ahead and turn this all into flawless jasper which is 80 fine jasper per so let's this should be enough for six so there's three four five and six beautiful a little bit of left over as well but yeah we basically need all this for the unlocking of the slots as well as working towards perfects for all these slots as well so it turns out that i need 39 flawless and so far we used six to unlock the pieces on our set Plus another six here, so that is 12 of the 39 we need in total. Still a lot more to do. I need three of these to unlock the secondary slot on all my Necron pieces. And then obviously we're going to have to start forging up some perfects. And to do that, I need to get Jasper Crystals through Nucleus Runs, which is going to be super tedious, but needs to be done as well. Uh, not only do I need Jasper for these, though, if we go ahead and look at the secondary slot again, as I was saying earlier, we need a Flawless Jasper, Sapphire, Ruby, and Amethyst. So... Quite a variety there. I was able to go ahead and mine the three flawless ruby earlier, though, while someone was looking for a lobby for me. Let me go ahead and grab this out. We're going to make three flawless ruby, just like so. One, two, and three. Exactly enough, which is always super nice to see. And other than that, I need amethyst and sapphire, if my memory serves me right, even though I just said a second ago. So, yeah, these three are all going to be for the unlocking process, and then we still have a little bit more to mine for that. We still have a ton of Jasper that we actually need for all the perfects. I honestly might put Flawless on there for the time being, just because it's not a crazy difference between a Flawless and a Perfect. In fact, let me go ahead and check again. Gemstones, click to view. What's the difference? Okay, it's actually a four strength difference, which is 
bigger than I thought it was. So it's actually kind of worth going for those perfects, but still just so much extra time. So I'm going to do my best to kind of mine Jasper over the coming days, but really happy with the amount we are able to mine now. As I was saying though, two of the other gemstones that we require to actually unlock the final slots of Jasper on our Necron set are Sapphire and Amethyst. I was able to basically just hop into a random lobby, warp to Nucleus, and I actually found a really good mining spot for Sapphire. So I've been here for, I'm not even sure, less than an hour, maybe half an hour uh, roughly, and was able to mine 1.5 million Sapphire, which is exactly what we need to um, unlock the armor pieces. We need three Flawless, so let me go ahead and finish compacting everything. There we go, we should be able to go and craft three Flawless Sapphire Gemstones, just like so. A little bit of leftover too, which is always nice to see. That is beautiful. All that remains is the amethyst. Um, however, unfortunately, this is all the time I have for today's video. I'm driving for 14 hours the day you guys are seeing this video. So it is like 3.30 a.m. and I'm driving for 14 hours, basically the day I'm recording this too. So wish I was able to finish off all these slots and get them unlocked and get a little bit more Jasper mine, but hopefully you guys understand it's a little bit busy right now, but I wanted to get a bunch done while we get ready for master mode. I genuinely cannot wait to use this thing in master mode and start cruising through the floors, working our way to catacombs 50, because that's like probably the next overall large grind that we're committing to is catacombs 50 and we're catacombs 39. So there's a lot of dungeons ahead of us, but I'm so pumped for it. We're going to be like one of the first Iron Man content creators to get Catacombs 50. There's like HS Fearless, ARJX. I'm not even sure which other Iron Man content creators have uh, Catacombs 50. So it would be really dope to get that. Uh, be one of the first to do it. So really excited about it, honestly. It's going to be a lot of hours, a lot of dungeons. I hope you guys are excited for that. We're going to be going through every single floor, getting all the Master Stars, Master Skulls, Everything you can think of um, it should be a lot of fun with some mining in between, obviously, to kind of afford all this. It's going to cost so many coins. And I need to work on leveling up my G-Drag so we can get into this. So just a lot of stuff to do in general. But man, am I ever pumped. And hopefully you guys are excited for this big journey we're about to embark on on the Iron Man profile. So if you guys are excited for any of the stuff I just said, please go ahead and leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you so much for all the support on the Terminator videos so far. I'm so pumped to get in the master mode. Next episode, we'll finish off unlocking these slots, getting a minimum of some flawless Jasper into all these pieces. So it should be really fun. Uh, there might not be a video tomorrow as I am driving the whole day you guys are seeing this, but after that, we're right back into it. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.